and to details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi held a meeting with Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli, Minister of Electricity and Renewable Energy Mahmoud Ismat and Minister of Petroleum and Mineral Resources Karim Badawi on Wednesday. During the meeting, which comes in light of following up energy files, the President reviewed the government's measures to ensure the continuity of electricity feeding amid high consumption of electricity during the summer season. The President gave his directives to the government to intensify efforts aimed at implementing implementing renewable energy projects across the nation. President El Sisi further directed the government to enhance the effective cooperation between various ministries to ensure the regularity of electricity services. Reviewing future plans to encourage investment in the energy sector, the head of state instructed to intensify implementing renewable energy projects, whether solar or wind energy, in order to add new capacity to the electricity network. He praised citizens' understanding of load reduction plans in the previous period. General Abdel Magid Sakr, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces and Minister of Defense and Military Production, attended the events of the 4th International Scientific Conference on Communications ITC Egypt 2024 and the 3rd Scientific Innovations Competition Isaac 2024, organized by the Armed Forces over several days at the Military Academy. The event featured participation of numerous Egyptian and international universities and school students, as well as experts specialized in scientific and technological fields. Also present were General Ahed Khalifa, Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces, along with several ministers, governors, senior military leaders, military attaches from friendly and brotherly countries, and public figures. The Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces inaugurated the Engineering Projects Exhibition, which features numerous technological innovations from Egyptian University and military college students. He praised the high level of the party participating innovations which maximize scientific benefits and emphasized the importance of utilizing these innovations in collaboration with the technical research and development department and other relevant departments and agencies of the armed forces, reinforcing the principle that nations develop and peoples prosper through science. The cabinet headed by Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli held its weekly meeting at the government's headquarters in the new Alamein city on Wednesday, tackling a number of political, economic and social files. Following the meeting, Madbouli held a press conference during which he reviewed the latest developments in the file of electricity. In this context, the Premier reiterated that electricity consumption reached its climax during the past days and asserted that the state is working on increasing its energy resources to totally and the power cuts issue by next summer. He pointed out two measures of boosting cooperation with regional partners in the field of renewable energy during the coming period. The Premier further expressed appreciation for the support gained to the new cabinet program and vowed that all ministers will exert efforts to achieve its goals in all domains. The cabinet also probed what had been achieved in the files of investment, industry, electricity, education and health, in addition to means to increase investment across according to Egypt's 2030 vision. The Gaza Strip was hit on Wednesday by new Israeli raids, hours before Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was due to address the U.S. Congress. The residents said several homes were destroyed.